Throw Gang, we are joined by... <laughs> Confirmed alive. We lost <laughs> you there for a few hours. We are joined by the reverse commuter king, Lauren Schlossman, and myself. It's Ace of Spades till I face the grave, James Harris. <laughs> Welcome to the weekly Burning of the Boys with today's full episode only available on patreon.com slash throwing fits. Before we get into acting responsibly for once. <laughs> yeah, for, for a second there. Squabbling over $1,000 dinners. Squabbling? Yeah, we squabbled. Okay. And <laughs> shutting down New York Fashion Week in style. Oh, yeah. Let's get into a fit check. I'm really hoping that my serotonin levels kind of find find some balance. <laughs> An equilibrium? Yeah. <laughs> You're good. You've had like four days, or I guess three days to recover. Yeah. I might need a couple more, dude. <laughs> Your favorite doorman's least favorite doorman. Oh. The saint of Lafayette Street. He's on NY doorman. He's eight ball doorman. <laughs> In front of the paywall. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> love, I love billiards. <laughs> what yeah. can I say, dude? Sn- call him Sarah Snooker. <laughs> call, me, call me fucking Stussy, dude. Because I'm, <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just a straight up anthropomorphic eight ball, dude. Uh, what's good, bro? I'm, I'm good. How are you? <laughs> I'm, I'm really good. How are you? Really? You're like fantastic. Yeah, I've been I feel good. pretty good. Yeah. All right. I mean, my ego is fucking inflated beyond fucking comprehension. Bruised, cruised, and bamboozled. No, not even, dude. I mean, we were the kings of New York for a night. Oh, I see what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that was fun. We'll get into it. <laughs> okay. Um, let's do a fit check again. Is there housekeeping? New no, update. I said let's get into a fit check. Oh. Oh yes, new moetic. Fully updated. We got knits. We got hoodies. We got boots. We got accessories. We got denim daddy. Yeah, baby. Uh, yeah, go to link in our bio. It's throwing fit store. So, like, basically everything re up for fall. We're fucking rocking there. Got a couple um, bars off, too. They added a nice little description feature. Yeah. Uh, catch my <laughs> granny heroin bar. <laughs> I think that's what it was about. <laughs> um, <laughs> Making that needle work, dude. But yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll be prone to that. You'll see it. Uh, fit check time. You want to go first? Do I want to go first? Yeah. Sure. I wore Gucci, vintage Gucci just, horse bit sleds to the just crib. Just glad you're with us. I have on entire world socks. I'm wearing shredded vintage vintage <laughs> Levi's. <laughs> What's the plural of vintage Levi's? It's vintage. <laughs> vintage. I'm wearing shredded Levi's vintage 501s. I have on a Calvin Klein Palace wife pleaser, a Daryl Brown work shirt, mm. a Metalwood Studios hat. The rollie is on the wrist. The wedding ring is on the thing. He's still married in spite of my treacherous I was, behavior. Yeah, I would have not been shocked if you'd shown up sans ring. No. I'm not going to lie. I mean, shit was dicey over Or if you showed, up with a fu- a you showed up with a sleeping bag, and you're like, yo, can I crash here for a few it, days? In terms of being a, a responsible, upstanding member of society slash husband, um, definitely not did not have the best showing no, whatsoever. No, no, no. But, hey, it's work. That's what I say. It's, I'm just working. Did you ask Jenna what time it was when she was yelling at you for coming home at <laughs> rush hour in the morning? She, she was already. Well, first, I got I got the call at 630 in the morning. That's like, are you alive? And I was like, ready to jump into my, uh, you know, to defend myself. My spiel just hanging up immediately. And then as I was taking the train home, like at eight in the morning, uh, she'd already left to work out. So that was uh, that's a tough look. It's smart. You took the train and not. An Uber because like trains were on the rush hour yeah, schedule, was, so like faster. you were probably that's, catching. A, that's what like, I figured. Yeah, it was like an A train every like three minutes. Or yeah, when I was right? hoofing it back from the West Village, I was like, "This is gonna be." Listen, I'm already fucked, but if I want to save like at least a half an hour of grief, yeah. let me take the let me take the express. And the twenty five dollars I'm gonna save on the Uber, I'm I'm putting it towards wife. <laughs> the the oh. Yeah. <laughs> so on the way home, I'm like, I, the least I could do is buy her um, some flowers. <laughs> so I bought flowers. Did you go to like the New York flower market, which opens no, at, like 4 no, a.m. No. and shuts down I, at 9 a.m.? I went a. to a place like close by me, just like a food emporium that I know a has a bodega. Like, you got a bodega yeah, flower. Yeah, uh, more a little bit higher than like a little bit of a higher pay grade than bodega flower, okay. which I thought were peenies, which I know she likes, but it turned out to not be peenies, which were like another, like a whatever. That's how you pronounce them? Uh, peonies? Peonies. I don't know. Oh. Anyway, uh, she promptly got them and put them in the trash. <laughs> Fire <laughs> up, yeah. She was like, "I'm gonna." She she was like, I, "That's a power move." And I was like, "Yes, you absolutely did." Alpha, my paltry attempt at an apology. Were you like, "What time is it, though?" No. Why? What is? I don't. Because she you bought her the watch. Oh no no. <laughs> <laughs> that that fucking leeway long gone. It's dude. time for you to go home. <laughs> it's time for you to shut the fuck we're up. We're not even like back. It wasn't even back to equilibrium. I was already in the doghouse, completely negative. But we're all good now. Everything's fine. 
Um, All right. My charm, my wit, my good looks. I got my, say, I got myself mad. back, baby. You say mad at this guy. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, well, you and my wife specifically. Yeah. Um, okay. And then uh, uh, New York adorned in the lobe and then just drinking, drinking water. Not that I haven't been drinking like this weekend, but trying to have some water to right. stay hydrated. Get what about hydrated. you, buddy? Um, upstairs, I was wearing A6 designed by Kiko 1130s. Um, the socks are little flower boy joints from the small brand that I saw Nick from Small Talk tag them S E I. They look um, like socks that Jenna would throw in the garbage. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> dainty little socks for a dainty little boy. Um, yo, these shorts are crazy. So I don't. Uh, I think it's a. Uh, the brand is called Wild Things. It's a Japanese. It's a Japanese. Climbing Wild Things. <laughs> it's a Japanese climbing brand. Okay. Um, it's like a four-paneled fun short. Well, they're loud and they're proud. Yeah, I mean the the what is this here? Like what is what is this? Oh, the, what is this um, part called? The crotch yeah, gusset. The, the dick. The dick gusset. Um, is mad colorful, and then it's like zebra stripe, polka dot, they prisoner do? stripe, black. No, he's mad old. I was gonna say they look vintage. Uh, they're they're just beat up. They're probably from like 2015 or something. Um, but I got them at this store called Napoleon Fish, which is like. <laughs> One of the craziest stores in Tokyo. It shut down very sadly, like pre-pandemic. This was like true Japanese. Is that for short aquatic kings, like <laughs> Napoleon Fish. It was just like, uh, like psychedelic Gorp before, like Gorp and psychedi- That's psychedelia such a good were like a, brand name a fucking thing, like, or like any Japanese name where it's like clearly this was not put through Google Translate. Whatsoever. No, but it's fire, <laughs> and it was so hard to find. And like for a few years, I kept like trying to go and kept maybe this was like pre um international wi-fi and it, japanese stores do not make themselves easy to find i'll no, say that of course not um but napoleon fish it was a fucking legendary place it, they had like sequined elvises on like what? gore-tex jackets it was like it was wild shit wild yeah shit. clearly dude it, it was like the epitome of like why retail and brands in tokyo are like bar none you know do we think it still exists the, it doesn't exist anymore oh damn close down Sad. Maybe it's maybe it exists in some format somewhere, but like I would have to go to like their Facebook page. I would have to have my mom call them. It was the whole thing. <laughs> mom, can you call the cool Japanese store for me? I'm scared. Did I ever tell the story? <laughs> Did I ever tell the story when the Japanese bus driver thought I was um special needs? <laughs> I don't know, but that sounds accurate. Okay. Well, because you were asking him for directions in like broken Japanese. No, so like <laughs> when I go when I go to Japan, uh, it's usually to visit family, right? And I'll like. I'll designate one day to go shopping. Mm-hmm. The rest is just kind of like doing like, you know, family stuff. Um, and for one, for whatever reason, this one time, it was like the first day was the only free day where I could go. Everything else was kind of booked up. Mm-hmm. And you're jet lagged as fuck, right? right? So I borrowed my, this is pre-iPhones working internationally. I borrowed my grandmother's phone, which was like the jitterbug. It had like three buttons, like, right. you know, home, Nine, hospital, nine-one. police. Yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> like life support. Yeah. I was jet lagged out of my fucking gourd. I had it on a lanyard around my neck. My like, mom, a, like, like a life alert. Literally. My mom like walks me to the bus stop. <laughs> the bus pulls up. No wonder the guy thought you were the bus a bit pull, touched. The bus pulls up. The bus pulls up and my mom's like, hey, um, can you please make sure that my son gets off on the right stop? You know, he's just like, he really wants to go to like the shopping area. He really wants to area. go shopping. He really wants to go to Harajuku and please just make sure he gets off the right stop. Was that, was that bus, bus, excuse me, like a Napoleon fish a bit shorter yeah, than exactly. normal? Yeah, a short bus. <laughs> no, but the bus driver looks at me. I have the fucking, the, the life, the jitterbug phone around my neck. I'm like drooling because I'm so tired. I'm like, oh, oh, oh. like I'm so out of it. He definitely thought that I needed that's awesome special dude. assistance. And so when we got seat, when we got to the seat. stop, when we got to the stop, he like walks to the back, picks me up by my arm, and like walks me off the bus and like bows. That's awesome, dude. Yeah. Wow. That's listen. That's the kind of service you can only get in Japan. Yeah, right? exactly. <laughs> where well, they treat everyone like equals. If you're Japanese, um, yeah. So wild things, climbing shorts, uh, a pop cast T-shirt, courtesy of my boy, our boy John Caramonica from his closet sale. He just had extras from when he did the live show with Coscarelli mm-hmm. pre our shit. And yo, I started reading the Joe Coscarelli book. It's awesome. It is yeah, fucking same. fire. It's really good. Yeah. Galley boys, we up. Yeah. I'm still on like I'm not even at like the true little baby part yet. I'm still kinda like just like in the BMF years. Right. With like Gucci and Jeezy and that whole fucking insane beat. Oh, but we're gonna have to definitely crush that before we pot with him. I mean, we have to. I mean, yeah. I mean, we gotta we gotta do the work. Gotta do yeah. the homework. Exactly. Normally, I mean, for me at least, zero prep. But for yeah. Coscarelli, you gotta pull out all the stuff. But so. this is the killer cam, killer cam, cam, killer, killer cam, cam, killer. Yeah. Shout out Opera. The Steve. purple haze logo flip. Shout out Opera. Steve, T looked bro. like Laffy Taffy. 
<laughs> should we uh, should kill a cam be the outro? We used that before, probably right. Probably, but yeah, that's my favorite be... song on Purple Haze. I would say, yeah, it might doubt. be my favorite Cam song, period, because of the Opera Steve and the fact that you like literally text Opera Steve with the goons. I spa, uh, we should get Opera Steve on a Friday fiasco, dude. Yo, absolutely. We were gonna try to have him on the sh- I'm like failing upwards, yeah. Wait, I did just have a Purple Haze reference in the intro. Was it for next week's guest? I don't remember, yeah, no, it wasn't. No. Oh, you know, it was for a the the guest that you said is a sure thing that canceled on us. <laughs> yeah. Whoopsie. I mean, hopefully it still happens and I can be vindicated, but unclear at the current moment. I'm with the whole. I'm with the holy and the whole again. Uh, the whole hands. Maneuvering's nothing new to me. Maneuvering's yeah. nothing new to me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, um, the the hooligan and hula hands. Maneuvering. The nothing Julian new to and hooli hands. <laughs> the maneuvering's nothing new to him. There it is. Maybe you are special needs. Yeah. Dude. New York adorned. <laughs> In the bloody ear. They call, they call me Bloody E. <laughs> bloody Lobe. Bloody Lobe Cyrus, dude. <laughs> uh, drinking water. I forgot to wear all my jewels. And yeah, uh, Hanes boxers. Here we are. Oh, I didn't even say I'm wearing Supreme Hanes boxer briefs. I Hell never yeah. go first, so I was a little shook up, dude. Well, because I'm just the... happy that you're still with us because there was a few hours Friday morning where I was like, yo, can I get a fuck? Yo, you need life support. I was going. You need, to... you need, the, you need the jitterbug. Yeah, you were texting me in the middle of my night, which was noon. <laughs> <laughs> it happens, dude. Wait, I. Was I was up texting at 8 a.m. Friday like you might have been up. No, I was, but I was probably just just laying down my tiny child's extra large sized head. Okay. You know, just trying to get any type of restless sleep. <laughs> Not great. All right. We're uh, here, baby. Uh, We're doing check, it. Drink check complete. Yeah. Well, before we get into the party to end all parties, which honestly might <laughs> end all Come parties. At this point, bro. I don't think I can stomach another one at this point. Yeah. So... Last week we potted and then broke apart and then re um, came Fall back together charmed. at Angelo's 4SX Denim Tears celebration slash trunk show. At the Pebble Bar. At the Pebble Bar. Yeah. Which Fire. is mad tiny. Yeah, well, there's the multiple layers or levels. Excuse Did you me. go to the third, the secret third floor? No, which is where was the DJ? Third floor or second? I went to this. I was at the main floor, like, you know, whatever. And then I went to the second floor, but that was it. I didn't go to the, the third floor. Was top. where Guillermo was DJing. And did you go up there? No, because you need like, I mean, could have, but it's like you need like a you need to be escorted in the elevator. I'm not so was like, he just spinning for nobody up there at maybe. a certain point? Damn, maybe no Guillermo, bro. <laughs> Unless Rocky showed up, which is a rumor. I, did big he? rumor of the night? F- super, Flacco, mm. Flacco coming. I don't know if he ever showed up, but I was like, if it's Denim Tears hosting, I'm like, and also by the way, Rocky should be wearing. If he should be wearing any brand, he should be wearing for us. Yeah. I mean, like. He would look amazing in it. Yeah. It's like made for that kind of guy. It was a fun night. I mean, we, we got there super early. We got there even before they opened up because we we're like, hey, we got to be responsible. But it was just great to see like Angelo of Forest Designs, again, the most interesting man in menswear. Facts. And while Forest isn't like the most affordable brand, if you no, can sir. find a way to get your hands on some, this man is obsessive over textiles. Absolutely. And as two burgeoning designers ourselves, yeah, for sure. we're just like, what's the cheapest? What's the second cheapest? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Go with that. Let's go with the second cheapest. Yeah. <laughs> We don't want to be like the cheapest, but we also can't get out of our yeah. fucking. We may close. Here. We may close how we order wine. Let me get uh, the second most yes. accessible bottle. Exactly. No, except at, at except uh, except at uh, our most recent dinner. Yeah. Um, no, the party was great. I think for me, I mean, we've known Angelo for years. He's you know such a fucking. I think like he's speaking of fabric. He's woven into the fabric of the show. He's done multiple fucking marathon instant plastic episodes. We hang out with him. He's a real friend, right? He's not just one of these industry acquaintances that we make fun of seeing at New York Fashion Week. He is the fucking guy. He is the man. He is the myth. He is the legend. And seeing the love, the outpouring of love, like, we know that we like it. And we right. know we were trying to put, you know, the throw gang on. But to see, like, the greater menswear universe, at least in New York, like, really throw their weight behind a guy who actually deserves it for once, yeah. it was, like, really beautiful to see. And I was just yeah. super stoked for him. And I was like, I was like, yo, like, real talk, how's the brand doing? Like, because yeah. it's it's kind of, uh, it's, it's always been, like, in, it's a, small operation mm-hmm. he's slowly getting more and more support but he's like yo it's actually going it's like chugging along yeah it's awesome it's like it's very slowly but surely it's not hockey sticking it's not yeah. going crazy with hype or anything and it was funny because you know he told us he's like i don't like is this gonna be bad is is, is all this tension right gonna necessarily be like a via good tremaine thing? via tremaine and getting like uh you know kind of like tremaine's cosign the, the amount of eyeballs he would bring to it and we're like, yeah, for sure, because like it's you're not offering like a you know thousand dollar pieces and then like a sixty dollar like logo thing, right, right? For like Jared Kushner wear while he's traipsing around with Ivana, yeah, like your boy. <laughs> um, but it's not still, my boy to be clear. 
Jared? Jared is not. I do not claim those Kushners, bro. He's of your tribe. Uh, listen. He's if, Jewish. If, if, no, I'm saying if, if, if me being a Jew means that I got to fucking be associated with him, I can, I can forsake Yahweh. Who's your Mount Rushmore of worst Jews? Worst Jews? Yeah. Hitler. You got to put <laughs> Hitler on there. All right. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Hitler. Wait, did we ever establish you were saying that another person? Is Hitler was Jewish? Uh, he I don't was gay? Think... <laughs> He's gay. He's a gay Jew. Uh, okay. Jesus Christ for sure. Um, Henry Kissinger, obviously. Okay. Um, yeah. Le- Jared Kushner. Okay. Uh, which, by the way, like I, his brother was an investor in Grail. Josh? Uh, maybe. He did Oscar, the, the fucking like, weird like millennial healthcare yeah, and, uh, system. Yeah, and which one ran the Observer? Oh, Jared ran the Observer Jar- before, he, yes. before he ran the Middle East. <laughs> All right, so we got Kissinger. We got Jesus. We got fucking... Uh, Kush. Kush. The older Kush. And then, hmm, who's another shitty fucking Jew? Me, me, okay. <laughs> oh, me, dude. Yeah, hell yeah. Honestly, good company to be in. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys can all just fucking, uh, you know, pray in hell. The Messiah, a fail son, and then a war criminal. Yeah. <laughs> well, two and, war and Kissinger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, it was awesome to see Angelo and like the thing that really, really fucking sucked. And oh, and one thing that kind of like shows that he made it and kind of like where we're at is that he got like some serious like. Sponsorship dollars behind it. Like, I know, like renting out the Pebble Bar. We need to learn how to. That's what we we need to learn from him by osmosis or even directly. Like, we're not good with. I mean, yo, shout out the sponsor, shout out Basic Space, shout out Rosa Luna, whatever. But like Red Bull money. So he got Red Bull money, and what Come fucking on. sucked. And like you and I were like, yo, we're we're in at nine, we're out at ten because we have a podcast. We're behind the paywall. We have a podcast coming out in two Wednesdays from now mm-hmm. with no w- no one Wednesday because it, the, it's one Wednesday. Mm. One Wednesday will be in between. Like it's today. This comes out. Will this be on Tuesday? It's the twenty seventh, and then we have one Wednesday with spin all. We said that the twenty the twenty eighth of September. We are dropping an episode. If all goes well, with Mercedes Benz driver number sixty three, George Russell Saturday. (laughs) Which you kept calling that. I think Mister Saturday was his was his like. That's F2 his new nickname? No, that's his early F1 nickname because Williams was he was on such a shit team yeah. that they finally started like pulling better and getting like better starting positions in the qualifying races of Sat which are Saturday. Yeah, now he's more. Mr. That's Sunday. His, that's his pole. Oh, well, but he's only he's, he's in fourth pole. place overall. But I he, think the last but time he I checked. Has, he's never won a race. He's only podium he's podiumed, but he hasn't well, either way, first of all, Mr. Saturday is a fire ass nickname. That's why I was just Yeah, but he might become Mr. Sunday, which would be even better. Sure. Uh yeah, so we got time with first of all, you're talking to Mr. Friday morning right I'm now. I'm talking to dude. Mr. Thursday <laughs> lines. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. <laughs> you guys want to hear I was out till 9 a.m. last night? It was fucking sick. Who did I say that to? Is that no, the that's, con- me- that's the meme. Oh, okay. Um, you can put it <laughs> on the dude board. I was like, I'm not fucking bragging. I'm just reporting the facts. In the what's ha- in the personal teaser, you're like, and then I got fucking shredded. Well, I'm talk- Which I don't know if you're... Are you talking about like making a slaw no. or like... <laughs> no, I was talking about my favorite sweatshirt. Oh, okay. It got fucking shredded. Hell yeah, time. dude. Hell, got fucking shredded, dude. Shut the fuck up, dude. I hate this, dude. <laughs> Your sweater. Um, I was loving. I was loving these. This new. We were both loving. We talked about this. The schedule shift. But now I'm like, if it's only going to be me getting made fun of for my weekend or you know activities that I get into. <laughs> yeah. Oh, absolutely not. The Come weekend on. starts on Thursday. Dude. Hell yeah, almost Friday. They say Thursday is the new Friday. Dude. Okay, we potted with George Russell. Yeah, it was which is undeniably was. I, I was fucking nervous, and it was at seven thirty in the morning, <laughs> which is why because, we had to leave early from Angela. Yes, thing. because he's in the UK, um, and it was over Zoom. So we left. We were like, yo, we cannot sleep through this. This is like a big F1 racer. Um, and yeah, I think that he was like... I, he was super personable. I was yo, a little... He's, yo, he's media trained. I was a little obviously. concerned that his, it was going to be like very robotic and kind of reading off a script. But I think that he did come off like actually human. You know what I mean? He told that crazy story, I won't say, but about that traumatic experience that happened to him at his home. <laughs> that was wild. No, there's, there's good storytelling... Um, yeah. And shout out our friends at Bellstaff for 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 set, for setting the ting, man. Yeah. Um, but what really sucked was Angelo. <laughs> he's like, "Yo," and he holds up a brick of sapphire dollars. Because getting a call, the afters the pole. was going to be. Well, the party was from nine to twelve, yeah. nine p.m. to midnight, and then the afters when they had a fucking bus, bro, oh, to bring it. everyone from Pebble Bar <sighs> to like the 39th <sighs> Street location of the Sapphire Strippy. Never, never been to a strippy, but I hear they're super fun. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so it's, it's a steakhouse. Is that believable? <laughs> <laughs> Classic. 
clip it out. Um, and he holds up like fucking bricks, and he's like oh on the money God. phone like Johnny Manziel. I can't hear you. There's too much sapphire bucks in my <laughs> fucking hand. Yeah. Fuck and I, what I didn't realize is, is we knew that it was going to be at Sapphire's. And we're like, yo, that's sick. And he told us about that when we got drinks with McKean's like a few weeks ago. Wait, didn't we? Wasn't that like our, not our idea? Because he was like, but he was like thinking about it. And we we're like, oh, no, yeah, you should definitely do that. Yeah. By the way, when we had seen him that night when we got drinks and some food at Keen's, I think the previous time we had seen him was at Sapphire's. Yeah. Straight yeah. up. Except for like some events here and there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> The last time we spent like an extended amount of time with him, yeah. but yeah, never man, returned to the scene of the crime. This kids. man knows his way around an uncut gem. Yes, a sir. sapphire. Absolutely. Well, you didn't need to be there. We everyone got it. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's. Uh, but, I was we gonna say. Were, but we were yeah, so responsible. It, but what, what I didn't realize that he was like that. The whole bill was on Red Bull. Yeah, I did not realize that. Hence the sapphire bucks. Yes, which apparently in certain places, certain establishments, just as good as money. <laughs> <laughs> legal tender, U.S. legal tender. Um, and he said it was a fucking movie. And but also yeah, it forgetting sucked. about even that pod the next morning that like we were super jazzed on, and like that's gonna be. I think that's a moment for TF. I mean, this is a, this is an international superstar. He has like three million followers on Instagram. Yeah. Now whether or not he like promotes it or the pod gets fucking speaking of shredded, who's to say what his team comes back with? Because uh, we have zero journalistic and we're not afraid to admit that. Uh, whatever the guest wants, the guest gets. Within reason. Especially when it's fucking Mr. Saturday. But I will say that at that point, we were like, yo, this is kind of like the the first, like, the unofficial end to Fashion Week, at least until our party on Thursday. And we had been burning the candle at both ends. So I wasn't mad at taking it easy when we had been going pretty fucking You hard. know, taking it easy for you was, like, downing Red Bull drinks. I was oh. like, I was like... I was like, I had three drinks, the, like uh, like the Mezcal mar- or just the margaritas. Yeah. You were crushing the Red Bull drinks. And I was like, okay, like I'm sure that however much you drink, you'll probably wake up tomorrow at, in time. But the Red Bull, I was like, you're not going to be able to fall asleep until 2. Then I remember that your body doesn't consider Red Bull a stimulant. No, it doesn't consider most things a stimulant, to be honest. Some things. Um, I will <laughs> I will say that. Some, some stimulants. I had never had, um, a shout out uh, Mikey, um, who is always telling me about like, or I know he's a big Red Bull guy with all the new flavors and shit. I had never had fucking Red Bull watermelon. watermelon? Bro, it is incredible. I'm not a big Red Bull guy. I'll get a sugar free before a pod every so well, often. Well, you were but... cutting it with liquor. Yeah, what was in that drink? It was fucking delicious. It was... It was, was what, or was it was the, the Ernesto? No, I was having the Ernesto, which is like his like uh, Charm, partner yeah. in the in the right, first. right. Shout out Ernesto. Um, I forget what it was called, but yeah, honestly, I don't know how easy it is to get like special edition Red Bull watermelon. Highly recommend it. Yeah. Fucking incredible shit, guys. The best guest With besides like or not. I mean the uh yeah, it was like fun to see just like kind of like all the homies, all, all the homies. Um, Gallagher just geeking over Tremaine's Hermes claws. Oh yeah, I was like, like which, stop. I was like stop pointing at the man's feet. Bro. Which which like, Angelo also has a pair of. Which he also then geeked out when they saw each other later that week. I know, like, but I was like, but pair, I was like, bro. Gallagher, stop pointing at the man's feet. Like we we know who Tremaine is. We see his fucking heels out. Like, yeah. relax. <laughs> heels out for the boys. No, uh, that it was it was a beautiful night. And I, regardless of the amount of Red Bulls I tried to get in into my like little two hour uh, partying window as a respectable journalist um, and grown ass man, I will say that it was it was just a beautiful, awesome time. And yeah. it was uh, it was great. It, it, and it's not even just like. The crowd that was there was like, because th- I didn't know everyone there. Like, there was some, like, you know, movers and shakers, from what I understand. And it's just like, yeah, the fact uh, that- The owner of Ricky's? <laughs> yeah, yeah dude, Who's, like, his who's uh, the 4S number one VIP customer. He was wearing, like, the most turbo 4S piece. It was like, he looked like the fucking fallen yeah. archangel. He, can looked you explain Ga- he looked like Gabrielle. Can you, can you Gabriel. Ex- Gabriel the archangel. Gabrielle. Ricky's That's is like, uh, Ricky's is like uh, gay CVS. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, where it's, it's like they, it's an institution in New York. There's probably only a few of them left. I think there's still one in like West Village, mm-hmm. Hell's Kitchen. Um, but like basically before like Spirit and that one Halloween store on Fourth Ave <laughs> and like 10th Street or 12th Street, mm-hmm. you would go to Ricky's for Halloween or to get like douching materials if yeah. you were going to bottom that night. I'm trying to think of like a gay pun for Dwayne Reed. Gay Reed. Sure. <laughs> No, it's Dwayne Reed, but like reading. Like, oh, yeah. totally, dude. Yeah. You've been you've been yeah. read. Slay Reed. Slay Reed, dude. Yeah. Uh, so shout out Ricky of Ricky's. And, <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> and, yeah. That's like the type of legend where you're just like, yeah, of course they like this billionaire yeah. would be buying for us and just going fucking head to toe like 100%. a silver feathered armor. This uh, this dude who's for sure on the Mount Rushmore of like New York entrepreneurial, you know, it's it's him, it's like him. It's Robin Bird. Do you know who Robin Bird is? No, who's that? Oh man, Jared Kushner. It's a Kushner. Yes, yeah. <laughs> Channel Trump. Thir- Channel Thirty Five. 
was public access TV, and after ten o'clock, yeah. it was um, Robin Bird was this like unfortunate looking woman, uh, <laughs> probably in her like fifties, who was Yikes. like a who would host like fifties, um, gross. Yeah, who would yeah no <laughs> who would host like uh, other I don't know if they were porn stars or like performers or dancers or whatever, Sick. men, women, whatever, but. Uh, but in between, there would be like f- six minutes of looping like escort advertisements, mm. like for like Asians, black girls, Ooh. like blah blah blah. Um, Keep listing out more flavors, and and, dude. and it would <laughs> it would be on loop, and so you'd be jerking it, and you have you be you'd have to time it, you'd have to time mm, it for sure. with the loop. So you'd be like, okay, the, okay, it's Asians, okay, like you learned you learned how to edge from this is what you you're know saying. what it is is that like only one of the. Only one or a few of the uh, spots would have like actual mm-hmm. titties, right? Or like right, right. F- like titties like moving. Of course. Otherwise, it would just kind of like soft core, like girl, girls in bikinis. You'd be like, okay, Asians in bikinis. Okay, okay, black girls in bikinis. Okay. <laughs> oh, here it is. All right. Then, like you would have to nut, like you know. It's good to know the loop. Like uh, John Mayer, your dick is racist. I'm not. Yeah. Sh- <laughs> yeah. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone but whites. Rob, anyway, clip it shout out. out fucking Angelo. Uh, I hope we, people don't think we're, we're this is all this is all sincere, genuine praise for like someone that, yeah, exactly that we this. love and respect. And I, I hope if the audience already doesn't feel the same way, like fucking tap into your Googles because he's the best. Um, then it was time for the main event. Well, two days later, because mm-hmm. I felt like fucking shit all day Tuesday, sleeping terribly, waking up early, potting like felt like shit. Wednesday yeah. was like a rest day. Thursday, the main event. Main event. Um, grand it closing. was the throwing fits New York Fashion Week grand closing party. Wow. What Started off day. with, okay, first off, want to shout out the sponsors. Shout out Basic Space. Shout out Rosa Luna Mezcal. Shout out Onda uh, Sparkling Tequila Drink, which was delicious, by the way. Dude, it's so I, like, I, I think I had one like uh, ranch water, and then I went right to cans. Yeah, those were fire. Um, shout out Jeans. Shout out Love Club, mm-hmm. who were on the ones and twos. <laughs> Tunes all night, Alex Delaney and Javos. And we got dinner with them ahead of time at Ultra Paradiso. Mm-hmm. And Cami, the CEO, founder, of Parade Underwear, mm-hmm. joined us a little later. This dinner was almost like its own fucking saga. Yeah, n- normally, whether or not we were on the new schedule or the old schedule, like this dinner in and of itself would be some type of narrative. Yeah. But now it, re- it really just was the appetizer to the fucking main event. But well, still, great, the, great fucking time. The main issue that we we're grappling with. Um, Kind of like throughout the first half, and then we thought we had solved it. Was that we just <laughs> we didn't did have not. like the right cables, Dude. or Javos and Delaney didn't have the right cables to like actually DJ the fucking function. Yeah, I think they got like dubious intel. Shout out Ash, shout out fucking Jeans, shout out the whole fucking crew. But I guess they got some dubious intel about what like machinery they needed, or what do you even just just? Cables? I don't know, man. I, I don't. I, at one point when we first walked in, uh, Benny was like, "Yo, can you go get on Bluetooth?" And I'm like, "What? <laughs> uh, yeah, what?" Like, I was yeah. going to have to Bluetooth uh, DJ the party for a little bit until, thank God, they figured it out. But, like, yeah. Javos was a like, video of that moment, which is, like, the like and relief washes over me. Like Javos awesome was way. like, yo, do you have anyone that could, like, pick up some cables from B&H for 50 bucks? Bro, it was a disaster. I fucking Sham uh, was a hero, and he's like, oh, I'm, at a, I'm at near a Best Buy. I can, like, check in. But they yeah. didn't have the right cables. It was just like it, it was just this kind of like black cloud hanging over the dinner, yeah. which it's like which didn't stop us from enjoying it. But Javis going to have to exit early and yeah. go up to Midtown and like cop some cables and then meet us at the at the spot. Um, knowing now that when we pulled up and there, there's a lot of events that happened in between here, which we'll get to. But knowing now that when we pulled up to the party, uh, which was like happening ish, like obviously they were still like figuring out the line situation. And it was like a, like a, I guess that when did we get there? Nine. It was like, like now a little after nine. Yeah, so it's, we're still soft launching the party. Like knowing that we pulled up and there was no fucking music. Like I, we probably should have made a bigger effort at dinner, which was just like, man, eh, sure, it'll yeah. figure itself out. Yeah, uh, and it did. Thank God, because I can't even imagine what would you do. Just do a playlist. You'd have to. You're like here's the like- Pandora ads playing over the fucking loudspeakers. <laughs> and honestly, uh, I mean, we'll get to the party, but like I, the music was f- fucking fire. Oh, it was incredible. Um, they killed it. People, yeah. more people should. I didn't realize how little they actually performed. They've done short stories. I didn't even know that Giavos doesn't even live in New York. Yeah, Ash was saying that there are more people dancing at our party than at the Skepta party, or Midnight Studios after party, where Skepta was eating. But also... Think about the music that he was probably playing, though. Yeah, and also, like guess what? to drill. g Easy wasn't at our party, so a million points for us. <laughs> yeah, we, thank God. Okay, so the, the <laughs> dinner, though... Um, so, I would, my pl- okay, my game plan for the night... Tell me. Vermouth and soda, very low ABV, mm-hmm. 
one glass, maybe two glasses of wine at dinner, mushrooms, and then just like onda and like keep and like cruise. And that was my my drug of choice. My the, the singular drug I was going to consume. Yeah, mushrooms, um, gummies. I had mm-hmm. where it said like you know you take three of them, you feel like euphoria. Um, so I was like, all right, I'll take three. Smart man. Yeah, that's a that's a solid plan. Yeah, no complaints from me. Man's no got a plan. Um, yeah, f- plan to f- fail to plan, plan to fail. Yeah, one hundred percent. We get to dinner. Um, I finish my my low ABV vermouth and soda, and I was like, "All right, let me fucking splurge out. Let me get the the twenty five dollar glass of wine, the oh, most yeah. expensive glass of wine there oh, is." Oh yeah, you know I'll have this. I'll sip it slowly. Um, it's a long night. I'm gonna try and make it to like who knows when, like two, three, whatever. I hear from across the table. Oh, let me get one of those. I'm like, oh <laughs> fuck. I'm like, and I didn't want to say anything. I didn't want to say anything because, like, in front of like our new, uh, in front of like friends, new and old, I couldn't be like, "Yo, Lawrence, this is maybe you got, like the twelve dollar glass yeah, this wine." This is a little bit. This is like the twenty five dollar glass wine. Pay grades okay. because then because about then pay grades a lot. This was surely above it because then and it was delicious. Yeah, and I'm sure you liked it, but it was like, was it a Barbarossa? I, it was a Barbarossa. I look up and you're on your third while I'm on, on my first. And I'm just like, oh fuck! Like we just spent a a, a hundred dollars on wine. Just a little Benny, right? No um, jeans. It keeps. <laughs> keeps going and i'm just like yo just get a bottle and then that way like everyone because mm-hmm. everyone can have it the bottle was only weirdly like a hundred dollars it's a good deal i don't know what the deal was there so we should have gone bottle um from the front mm-hmm. uh or you know off rip but uh yeah dinner was great i had to shush you at one point the shushing came from inside the house that was that's what i said to you earlier and that uh at that moment when that happened and i understood basically i was just, we're getting we're getting looks by the way from like the tables um on either side and, of us and i and I, I guess it's i mean i guess like if you'd ask me like would i rather Knowing that I'm going to get shushed. Would I rather be shushed by my boy or shushed from a fucking, you know, third party? I would probably say, like, my boy, but in that moment, that, and first of all, some context, because, again, context is everything, as we say in this podcast. Delaney and I were having an impassioned conversation about cancellation. Mm. You're pro. And, <laughs> yeah, I was like, I wish you were still canceled, bitch. I fucking hate you. No. You know, we were having that, and even Cammy had her little, she had a little brush with the New York Times, the fake news, the fake journalism right. at the failing New York Times. Yeah, so, yo, fuck, yo, fuck this t-shirt. <laughs> but, uh, but, uh, so yeah, so we yeah, were having, Times right here. I was in the, I was in, in the throes of, the in, of impassioned debate, and uh, after that happened, I will admit that my feelings were so hurt that I stomped out to have a cigarette, and I was just fucking. How many cigarettes did you have in that whole meal? Four? Well, dude, I, I probably smoked. Not three packs, but like upwards of three packs. That from when did dinner start at six? From six to well, also this was now over. I probably partied for damn fourteen, 14 hours? hours. Holy shit! Yeah, dude, I pulled the well. To be fair, shit. like I so but me, anyway, yeah. me, Jawas, and Cami were like literally huddled up. We were like this close from each other, and we could not hear. And we were shouting, and it was loud in there. It's loud. We there. couldn't hear each other speak because like you and and Delaney, and namely you, were just like over here like screaming. screaming. And I, I was like Lawrence, like, free Delaney. I was like Lawrence. <laughs> Like, ugh, like what no, else? I, I guess I should have said banana bread. That's our code. Right? Yeah, like, like, I mean that that would that have hit you at that point. That would have been effective, and I think uh, that would have maybe been a nice laugh uh, for the table, assuming that anyone wanted to kind of delve deeper into what banana bread means, both on a literal and metaphorical level. But I was outside stewing in hatred for you. I'm like this motherfucker. Damn. It's gonna embarrass me in front of everyone. A lot of anyway, hate. No, it wasn't meant to embarrass you. I was like Lawrence. Like, uh. Yeah. Lot, you know, a lot of hatred in the in the Schlossman. Then Jenna joined us for. A drink, well, I was gonna say was, a lot of, a lot of hate, a lot of hate, uh, in the Schlossman. Schloss. Wait, what's your name? Schloss. Schlosswell household. Wait, what's your last name? Schlossman. Schlossman. And her name's Blackwell. Yeah, so Schlossman. Okay. Well. Okay. <laughs> no, no, no. I mean, listen. Yes. Uh, <laughs> again, so I the was, animosity towards you started early. Yeah, I, I, and I, and that was a hand up. That's on me. Thing like we were, we were taking. So honestly, wait, because Giavos didn't go to Drake, so I thought he did go to try to get a cable. Neither did Delaney. They were like, "We're just gonna go oh, and do just sound go check." And try to get yes, right. Yeah. So me, you, and Cammy uh, go to Drake's. I stupidly was like, "Oh no, Jenna, you should like go home and uh, and walk the dog <laughs> because like you know you, you should go home and wash the dishes." She was invited not to Drake's necessarily because we didn't know if we were gonna go to a little pregame uh, before our party, but she had no interest in going to a party after her bedtime and partying with me all night long. You so, mean you mean like the jeans party, right? Party so I just assumed that like she because she had been because she works right there at Warby and uh, she was having a drink around the corner for her own happy hour. So her coming through and hanging out was great. Um, and wonderful, but I just assumed that like her night was over. I guess she wanted 
like anyone, wants to be invited whether or not they're going to just to hang out for a little bit more, whether yeah. they want to come or not. And I fumbled that bag. And as we walked over to Drake's, I probably listened to three voice notes all over a minute long that did not paint me in the best light. Yeah, we'll I, leave it at I, I only got a glimpse of one of them that was a, a minute and 30 plus <laughs> in the Uber after Drake. So she was oh, hitting it me with was, the voice yeah, notes it was, before Drake's, yeah. after Drake's. But yeah, we rolled up to Drake's, uh, walked over to Cammy, who's fucking awesome. Mm-hmm. Um, she still owes me some men's thongs. Um, oh, we should, we should fit check ourselves because the first thing that you said to me, well, also, and this is something that we normally never do, which is why check a fit that is not worn. But you had a plan. You had a plan for your fit that we had talked about. Yes. That was spicy and sensual and very interesting that ultimately fell by the wayside. And then you went with another option, which then you felt wildly underdressed for the no occasion? i felt awesome i felt like the mm. actual rock star surrounded by like fucking corporate suits. what were so, you what were you going to wear so the og plan was to wear an embroidered tank top by the homie lydia um who was including the dumper where it's like the newport alive with pleasure embroidered into a tank top a beater a, or a pleaser. a pleaser a respecter i'm not a pleaser wearer and you kind of mentioned this and i know you're wearing one now but like they're very much like uh, like the true undershirt pleasers are Male like, girdle. You're not. They're not. They're meant Shapewear. to be. They're meant to be uh, enjoyed, not seen. Yeah. Right. <laughs> yeah. Like they are meant to like tuck you in, which means that they are tight. Or if they're going to be seen, you're going to be on your fucking Gen Z sexy boy East villain bullshit. Yeah. Right? One you're of, already. Yeah. You're already fucking noise and toit. Yeah, but I want to. But you should be shaped like this fucking iPhone. You know what I mean? <laughs> like this microphone. Um, I am not shaped sure. like that. Even though it might fucking look like it when I'm wearing <laughs> giant popcast tees. So I was like, damn. I don't want to wear this tight ass pleaser with what the belly. It? It's a large. Oh, but your belly was out. But my belly was out. The spare tire. Were you going to t- tuck was out. in at all? Because that's what I do. I'll tuck it to avoid the belly. Like, I, was right of t- I was thinking of tucking, but it's, the belly still would have shown. So, uh, and then it was going to be that with the Maddie Rosa Rugosa. Yeah, Rosa Rug- R- Rosa Rugosa. Those green pants, my new favorite, uh, the current best. favorite, be- current favorite pants. You agree with me? The fucking shit. Yeah, and then like some sort of uh, shirt. Which would have been on my Gen Z shit where it's like beater, undershirt, tucked into pants, fucking vintage hat, whatever. Um, but I just wanted to wear that tank because I, I really liked it. When I you, do when really you, like it. When you put the fit together outside of like you maybe being self-conscious of how the tank looked, did you look in the mirror and go like, oh, now I look like the statistic I'm always claiming Larry looks like? No. You not freaked it in your own way? See, this is, you're such a fucking narcissist. Do no, as I say, I was, not as I do. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> but you I recognize that I was statistic adjacent. <laughs> And so I pivoted to wearing the OG Noah, which is, you know, if you're going to fight, if you're going to fight, fight like you're the third monkey on Noah's Ark and brother, it's starting to rain. Your, your Amazon red bubble fucking yeah. drop ship. My pro trash garbage. My t-shirt. pro public uh, shooting T-shirt. <laughs> yeah, it's like it is. It, it's a is it a pro gun? It's a pro gun shirt, right? Well, no, the pro- monkey has two deagles. Yeah, but also it's, it's a, has a giant cigar. That doesn't mean it's pro smoking. Oh, okay, touche. Yeah, he's just, he's just a cool monkey. Yeah, and he's suited up. So actually, I was suited up. <laughs> oh, wait, the monkey's wearing a tuxedo too. Not a tuxedo, but like a like a like, suit, like a <laughs> like a black tie suit, bro. Um, and then the the super mesh South Two West Eight like beekeeper shit, which I thought was great. Um, looked fucking crazy. And then just like grill rings, yeah, the grill was in bracelet, the a New York hat. Um, I forget what the shoes were. Probably just some Asics. Uh, and yeah, and then I show up, and the three of you are fucking in your like sleaze suit era. Yeah, I mean, you look like Jimmy, which is like all that anyone could ever hope for. It's like you know, we're out here being ourselves. That's why I think people, why well, we're beloved by the people. Uh, what did I wear? I wore a brown suit. No, I wore uh, well a jacket, but I wore uh, a second layer snakeskin boots, vintage mm. Levi's five hundred ones, a Kamakura OCBD tucked in. I had the big old Western metalwood belt, and then a brown double breasted um, second layer sport coat. And then, dude, the white rodeo hat. By the way, after partying in fourteen hours, I could still bring that out. Probably Ugh. like it is. I don't know. Listen, the, if you see, if, listen. If you see me wearing that, do not ask me what that smells like Ew. because I gotta I gotta strip it or something. I mean, dude, fourteen hours in that, John. Just get a new one, <laughs> bro. Honestly, I need to hit up Peter, bro. Holy fucking shit! But yeah, I, we, a, a, a little little extra fit check for the fellas. But I we like get to, doing that when we're recapping yeah, yeah. events. This but we, is a fun little. We get to the Drake's. More fits the merrier, dude. We get to Drake's. It's like low key fucking popping with guys that dress exactly like you. Where I'm like, okay, I'm in the fucking monkey gun shirt. You look ridiculous. And like the see through jacket with the fucking beekeeper's yeah. hood. You look like you're about to, you pulled up to do a hate crime, bro. Yeah. Like, you look ridiculous. I'm, I might have. Yeah. Um, that was your insurrection, bro. That was my <laughs> that was my September 6th. Yeah. So January 6th. I know, but it was September. Oh, so okay, got it. here's the thing. 
and I kind of alluded to this when Delaney was like, yo, what do you think of the menu? Like, what do you think, like, this pasta, that pasta? I was like, I was like, that sounds good. I'm not trying to shit myself at this party, though. But you did say that, yeah. I did say that, and uh, it's, again, like, I kn- know thyself, know thy body. Um, whenever there's cacio e pepe, mm. there's going to be cacio e pupu. <laughs> e pupi. <laughs> It's going to be caca y poopy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Episode title? I don't know, dude. That's a bit of a stretch. Cacio e poopu. Um, <laughs> we get there. Italian for you uh, fucking, shit and poopy. You fucking see you know, a bunch of oh. other like guys in their 30s dressing like they're guys in their 60s. Yeah. Uh, me and Cami like, get a glass of wine, and I'm like, Cami? Like, oh, she saw Bryn. Bryn Walner was there. Yeah, shout out, Bryn. Um, so they're talking. I'm like, yo. I gotta leave you guys. Excuse me. Um, I gotta, you know, I'm just gonna go take a look around, mm-hmm. and immediately booked around. it w- to the bathroom area where I, s- I run into you. Uh, I was also waiting in line because also we should say, all right, we went fucking ham, fennel salad, octopus, arancini, cacio e pepe. Some what was the other pasta? Just a spaghetti, like a alla norma. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, spaghetti alla norma, That's and so then a fucking Florentina steak, and a little be steak, my yeah. friend. Yeah, that was. Um, and don't forget, ten uh, percent of the bill was just wine consumed by you. True. Uh, also, the bill was so big that I got a fraud alert when I was in the bathroom, and then yeah. I was like really embarrassed. I'm like, yo, with the fact that we were like stepping up and taking everyone out to dinner, which like, yeah, whether or not I drank the most wine, or my wife also came, or we're trying to impress our new fucking friend, girl she boss, had a candy, glass of whatever. wine. That's fine. Either way, like we want to step up, we want to be those guys. But then being in the bathroom, getting the fraud alert, where I'm like, yo, is now is the card getting declined in front of the whole fucking table? Where I look like uh, I fucking I like dined and dashed. It went through. It went through. But Thank you, God, it went through. But you would not let it drop. You kept like the whole way walk over to Drake. You're like, yo, I can't believe the fucking well, car got declined, bro. And I was, but it up. got, but it went through. <laughs> yeah. I was like, it went through. I left the tip. Like it went through. We're good. Yeah. Is it not? So that's the question. Okay, whether or not that's where a car gets declined. Trying to buy bodega flowers later and <laughs> later that. The next morning. <laughs> the next morning. Um, is it embarrassing to just get the fraud alert? Well, because you never I use your card. It, I probably should have kept it to myself. You never use yeah. your card. Yeah. What well, can I say? I'm a fucking glutton for punishment. Yeah. I wanted to get it all out there. Um, I'm such a transparent guy. What can I say? Such a trans ally. So I feel like every week we grow closer and experience new things together. Uh, Drake's The Drake's party before our party was the first time that I think that uh, I felt the warmth of your ass cheeks. <laughs> oh, yeah, dude. Via the toilet seat that you were on yeah. and then I went on. Yeah. Oh, that guy let you, because there was a whole line of people that were basically in the same predicament where it's like, I'm trying to start my night, I need to dump out. You need to jump out. Get precarious. There was a guy in front of me, and I'm not going to say his name or like where he works or anything, but he's <laughs> cool and like might be talking later. But he's like, he's like giving me all these like platitudes. I like how he was networking with you in the bathroom line. He was ne- <laughs> that's really that's never stop networking. How do you think fucking Facebook happened, your bro? Network is your net worth. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> network before you do that work. Hey, are you about to shit your pants? Me too. Let's fucking talk turkey. So he wasn't going to shit his pants, but Let's I was talk TP. He was like giving me all these platitudes and like you guys are awesome. Like love what you're doing, blah blah blah. And I'm just like, look, man, uh, I really appreciate it. I'm going to go ahead and take all this like support and leverage it and pull mm, rank and, and ask if I can cut you in line. Because I'm about because to dookie myself. I need to go host this party yeah. later and I cannot shit my pants. And that's like happening. I was legit like leaning on a clothing rack, yeah. like trying to like like breathe, like do some Wim Hof shit <laughs> to keep my co- to like strengthen my colon. The amount that you're on the precipice, I feel like a, a lot of times of almost shitting your pants is not healthy or normal. And I'm not saying I'm the picture uh, of health at all because I am not famously, but like you, I feel but like I, see, have I, like low key IBS. No, nah, but like I know. I mean, look, the whole week was a. It, this was a, this was the this was the this was the cap on like a crazy week. Know thy ass. Yeah, no, <laughs> that's, that's, that's the title. title. <laughs> know thy ass. That's good. <laughs> Damn, dude. I feel like once we started getting the reputation of having very childish titles, we just have leaned into it. But um, anyway, yeah. But this guy was kind enough to. That's cool of him. Let me cut. <laughs> and then I just evacuated my bowels, blew Same's. it the fuck up. Same Uh, You know, it was like a fucking Tumblr post, blew the fuck up this hashtag menswear party. <laughs> and um, and as I was exiting, right. I, was, I was like, yo, man, thank you. Uh, I, you know, next, I, 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 I'll get you a drink at the party. My apologies <laughs> and then, for what you're about to walk into, dog. And then, uh, ironically, he later on DMs us. He's like, yo, it's me from Drake's. Yo, I'm sucking the line. You think you could help me out? And, like, I was like, yo, sorry, I didn't see this DM until, like, oh, at, at the next party. Di- at our party. Oh, no. No. I felt so bad. So you couldn't pay it forward, you exactly. bitch. Well, he paid it forward. I couldn't repay him. So I felt so bad. So like, yeah. So we're gonna we'll we'll figure it out. Wow, dude. Yeah. Now we fucking well. Now we're in this guy's fucking pocket. Right. Okay. So we dump out. Uh, we're like, Cam, we're rolling out. Um, she calls the Uber. Yo, RIP to Cam- Autobots roll out, dude. RIP to Cammy's Uber rating because you get in there and this is what I knew that you were just like. I was like, okay, like I'm gonna like he's he's on this wavelength. I'm on this wavelength. Okay, we're on. just like in, we're gonna be in different places the whole night. Yeah, like spiritually, physically, 
mentally, emotionally. Yeah. Um, I knew that you were very fucked up when we're in the Uber, going down Houston Street. Cammy had a little like flimsy plastic cup of wine, and there was like the bit, like the tiniest little like, you know, meniscus sure. of fucking water. Yeah. At the or of wine at the bottom, and like y'all can y'all can y'all can I get some of that wine? <laughs> And she's like, uh, yeah, there's not really anything left. And you're like, nah, that's good. And you grab it and you just like go vertical. You open the window. You try to throw the cup out the window, which is fucked up. Yeah. You try to throw the cup out the window and it blows back on you. <laughs> Did it, I don't think I stained my shirt, though. No, because you, you, you fucking slurped every single Woo! last drop of wine yeah, out of dude. that. But then you like couldn't like get the cup. It was like lost in your lap. And she's like, oh, oh fuck. Yeah, so RIP to her Uber rating. Damn, that's a bummer. That's it, when I knew I was like, okay. That's All funny. Right. I knew I knew I was uh, beyond repair when um, I thought it was a good idea to do um, floor drugs, aka just street drugs. Which is, I found some drugs outside of the club, and I was like, yeah. "I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold on to, I'm gonna hold on to these for safekeeping." For yeah, later. yeah. That was uh, that's uh, that's yeah. really embarrassing. They call him NY Floor Man. <laughs> <laughs> they call me the Street Sweeper. Yeah, yeah. you industry. I'm I'm yeah. in the streets. But I will say, at that point, I was definitely drunk, and I had a bunch of stupid, terrible exchanges. Um, at Drake's, yeah, um, which I don't need to recount here um, because I'm probably already going to get sautéed and flambéed as we continue on, uh, m- more so than I have already as we yeah. continue on with my many interactions I had that night. But I will say, when I did mushroom, I was like, "Ooh, should I do some of James's mushrooms?" And I was like, "Yeah, this is a good idea." I'm like, "This is now like, we're, I'm doing it all." Now we're now we're veer- we're now we're careening off whatever governors I had set for myself. But the one gummy I gave you, yeah, um, it's just a chill. It, it's, it's a, a chill mi- boy. Yeah, it's a it's a little a little micro. Yeah. Little micro doughboy. Yeah, dude. Um, okay, so we get to the party and shout out to everyone that came wow. through the whole night. Shout out Support, to sponsors again. Uh, There's already a line, which was like crazy to see. And it was at like 9 30. Yeah. And at, at its peak, like I hate that there was a line, but it was also cr- wild to see that there was a line that long. It's awesome. Um, to see. In, and an also, ideal, in an ideal world, the, it, the, the scenario or situation is that like everybody can come through, yeah. right? And, uh, yeah, I think like we we pose for picks. We go inside. We realize there's no music. Benny uh, at Jeans is like, "Yo, like, how's your Bluetooth? Like, you ready to Bluetooth this bitch?" And I'm like, "Sure." Um, you're upstairs. You're like running the door. You're you're the fucking you're the sheepdog, bro. You're just like, "Yo, everybody, round them up, round them up." The saint of Lafayette Street, dude. <laughs> just I doing doing my part. I just can't. The whole night we had been. Not commiserating, but debating. And we were talking to Giavos and Delaney about this at dinner, too, where it's like, we don't know what the... You know there's going to be support for us, but you don't know to, like, what level. And to then pull up and to to see that and then to know that this night was going to get off to a fucking raucous start. I then felt even more pressure and responsibility to be the man, the people that no. I see myself as. The Listen, if you if you saw me that night, yes, I'm a psychotic lunatic out of his fucking tree, but with the heart of gold. Can't help it, bro. It was I'm, I'm like, built different. Like I'm a good guy. You and I, we came from the bottom. We were the guys at the fucking, you know, yeah. with the iPads. We were the guys that had to like literally send out the RCP emails. We were the guys at the back of the line that couldn't get in. Um, and it was, it's shitty because like there, there has to be a balance. Yeah. Where when I submitted the list of names, it's like yo, like half these people aren't showing. Also, up. Also, our whole thing with no list, it's like all right, just because like we don't have a list, Jeans has a list. That's how a club operates. Delaney and Javos, they're the DJs. They have a list, so it's like and we had a list. I mean, we did have a list. Yeah. We, it was this did turn into like the anti fashion party fashion party where it was like yo, if you weren't if you kind of just experienced fashion week like tangentially. Or you didn't get to go to like the big shit or whatever, or like you just want to like see what it's about. This like ephemeral New York Fashion Week, you know, that only exists really in the ether, <laughs> um, where it's like everything, every other party at Jeans and and every party period was invite only, list only. Right? Yeah. And um, the fact that we could so it's cool. An open thing is special, so it's cool to sure. s- throw something that's open and that like again, if you weren't able to experience like the aforementioned like exclusive shit, you come to this. There was a moment that was recounted in the Discord that I think is awesome of you and very heroic where a woman came out and she's like, if you're not on the list, you're not getting in, which is the antithesis Mm -hmm. of what we wanted. Right. And you're just like, no, 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 no. And you went to like a group of like core dudes and you're like, yo, all these motherfuckers good. Yeah, yeah. All these motherfuckers good. And then like, that's great and generous and heroic and like that's the TF philosophy. I tear it down. I see a list. I tear it up. At a certain point though... (laughs) 
Dude, they hate me. Dude, I might be banned, even though we threw a fucking... Banned from your own party. Even though we threw a fucking cracking rager, and we already got ash on our fucking asses about, like, doing this monthly, which we could, like, debate live on air whether or not we could, like, truly survive as party hosts on a monthly basis, like, I might never be actually allowed back because of how I just commandeered the fucking door like a savage. Well, you either die a hero, right, or you live long enough to see yourself... Doorman fucking hate him! You either die a hero, or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain, which, like, you started off, and he's, like, very heroic. And then, like... (laughs) Yeah, dude. Benny, aka Benny Zooted, aka Zooted, aka What's Good NY, came up to yeah. he's like, he's like, bro, and not with any malice or anything, no, he's no. kind of like venting in frustration. He's like, yo, Larry's killing me, dog. Like, <laughs> yo, he's letting night, like, the door is like a, it's a science, it's yeah. an art and a science, sure. right? It's a balancing act. Mm-hmm. You like let it's people the sweet in. Science. You got to save some safe space for like the people. On, you got to make sure you don't get list. shut down by the fire marshal. Or the he cops. was like, he was like, if the fire marshal shows up right now, like we're getting shut the fuck down because he won't stop letting people in, <laughs> and like. You guys are the principals of the party. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, what shout you say Benny, goes. Dude, my bad, bro. Yo, shout out Benny. Shout out Benny for getting for securing me that fucking ace of spades. Oh, yeah, dude. Popping into bottles. Up. We had two completely different parties. Yeah. And you were outside just smoking cigarettes, like, uh, schmoozing, you were, up. You were, like, I, I said to Benny, Trying I was like, to get everyone in. I was like, yo, this is what working with Lawrence is like. You have a plan, <laughs> you have a strategy. He's going to get, he's either going to sober or fucked up, just come and bulldoze it, right? <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, man. <laughs> so, <laughs> I was, Mr. Zooted, tear down this wall. I was like, what do you want me to... I was like, I really... Like, Wait, I'm does sorry, he really bro. go by Benny Zooted? He used to, yeah. That's so funny. He's like fine. a... He's the man, dude. He's I feel a, so bad he hates me, dude. He's like a perennial like New York hustler kid. Like yeah, He's yeah. had his hands in everything. Um, he's awesome. I had a funny moment where, uh, just real quick, uh, I was like... Because, uh, you know, obviously having him... He literally, at a, uh, at least 15 points a night, he was like, yo, Larry. He's like, please. He's like, I'm begging you. He's like... Go inside and enjoy your own party. He's like, just leave. Leave the entrance. Stop. stop leave it to the professionals. <laughs> yeah, he's like, please stop smoking. Just go inside and chill out. Um, he's like, hey, Lori, Lawrence, I saw. I think I saw a bag on the floor inside. <laughs> yeah, <right. laughs> yeah, we need we need some uh, some uh, we need some cleaning done in the back. No, you know what they need to do? They need to get uh, if you're wearing a hat, put like I a put a put a stick with like a <laughs> fishing line and just like a bag right here. <laughs> so you're just like, ah! this shit goes public, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I will say a bag of cheese doodles. So, so later in that night, I was trying to like get back in Benny's, Mr. Zooted's good, good please, graces. Mr. Zooted was my father's name. Getting Benny's good graces, and I was like, "Yo, bro, sick fucking Asics." And he was like, "Yeah, like they're like uh, they're like New York Yankees colorways. That's why I like them. Sounds some like New York kid bullshit." And I was like, "Yo, I gotta hook you up with Captain Cons. I gotta get you the Asics plug. We'll have you in all like the new shit." And then we're with Despot outside, and Despot and, and Benny know each other. And Despot's like, "Oh, yo, what do you think of my sneakers?" And he's wearing these like floral Air Maxes. I'm like, "Those fucking suck." <laughs> dude and just like and i was i think i hurt his feelings a little bit but and no um, filter pharaoh and i also said to despot i was like yo did you see jimmy and i think despot came by you left at like probably one he was there one. at like two or whatever and he was just chilling outside i think he was on a date um and again he was just pulling up as more of like hopefully a friend to tf but also a friend to benny and jeans um but uh, he i was like yo did you see jimmy and he's like no nah, i didn't i was like oh damn that's a bummer i know he'd really want to see you and he's like why i'm like because he's on your fucking dick peace and then just went back inside. you're just uh you're just chaos <laughs> <laughs> You're just chaos incarnate. Yeah. Did you get a, a? You didn't get a bunch of like complaints about me from our friends, did you? Only from our close friends. Okay. I think from like <laughs> from the people that were there for a show, like they got a show from you. You know yeah, what I mean? I mean? Like there's there's photos of us. And like that's not why I do it, by the way. I do it because I have no self control. Okay. Uh, you don't do it for the people. There's photos <laughs> of you that. like you like pouring beer in my mouth through like my mesh veil. Wait, really? Yeah. Oh, I didn't see any of those. Yeah. Well, I, well, you know how you were like, did you have what do you call it? Hangover anxiety? What did anxiety? You say? Anxiety. Not that I did. Um, I just had like normal anxiety because my brain levels were completely off chemically speaking but when all the picture links were floating around i was like you know what i'm gonna do i'm and normally as a narcissist i would that would be the first thing i go to i'm like i'm not i'm never gonna look at any of these pictures because okay. i do not want to see how dilated my fucking pupils are in any of these flash photography party photos well there are no photo there are no fit pic photos taken outside of any of like the vips or like the you know quote unquote celebs that showed it because my my Assumption was that you were just like, yeah, yeah, go right, yeah, yeah, go right, go right, go right. Instead of being like, oh, yo, Zach, the photographer outside, right, right. yo, can you get a, can you flick up with them real quick? Right. Uh, you know, oh, Mahala, oh, Despot, oh, Body, Big Body, Best, can you go flick, get your flick taken real quick before coming nah, in? I, my my wrangling was more of the uh, ushering variety, as if it like, oh, God forbid, a VIP spent two seconds longer than they ever should from stepping outside of their Uber to the door of the club. So, but I, the crowd, I, the crowd looked good. Oh, dude, dude the crowd was like. 
dude, mad people like making out, dancing Yo, all fucking sexy. I everyone was, was, was saying, a horny fucking I, crowd, bro. I was dancing. I was dancing with Gallagher at one point. <laughs> yeah, he loves to, he loves the boogie. He does love um, the boogie. It was a very sexual evening. Yeah, it's, I think it's just like a lot of we were talking about how there's so much exuberance with everyone being back outside for New York Fashion Week even, and like end of summer. Right, and even like, if we're like New York Fashion Week haters, it was like we have you know you got to give credit where credit is due. It was it was a fun time. All the events, all the shows, all the stuff that we were actually invited to. Um, but this was like the horniest thing that I've been at in a long time. Ash told me that every single woman who showed up and wanted to get laid got laid. So congrats to Respects. the confirmed sex havers. Um, there were actual baddies there. Yeah. Like, there's I don't one... know if that was for us or for more of like jeans. Is well, we're going cl- to claim, claim them. We're going to claim them. Because the if anyone ever is like, yo, claimed, there's theory. never any fucking girls at a uh, Thrill and Fitz party. I'm going to show them like this one photo of like two like model ass girls that are just like hot and like you can see fucking, you know. Uh, Be like, careful what you say here, buddy. No, you can see like uh, some fucking, you know. Uh, men in like camp collar shirts in the oh, background, oh, oh, so you know it's a TF function. They, they were scoping. You scoping can see the, the East. Vill- you can see the East villains in the background. Yo, fuck uh, Cody, Cody, and Matt for coming through. Uh, who's the one with the hog? Nigel, dude, met Nigel. Big Nigel. Him, complimented him extensively on his uh, on, on his, his hog, huge getting, penis, get, getting that inked up in New York Mag. Yeah, the villains were there. I mean, you know, it was a perfect. I thought it was a perfect mix of of our crowd and friends, new and old, and then like yo, you know, my my some, best new friend, uh, my holla Harold from industry, bro. She, I ran into her at the bar. I look down, I see my holla. I look up, I see her tall ass boyfriend. Her boyfriend's number saved my phone as. My Holla's tall ass boyfriend. <laughs> What's his name? Wait, what, his name Rodrigo? Yeah. Yeah. No, uh, I don't know. It's my Holla's tall ass boyfriend. <laughs> and they're like, yo, we're going to pumps next time. We're linking at pumps. Damn, dude. And that was thank- my biggest regret. I, I missed her. And, and that was my I, biggest yeah. fucking win is that I had the, even though I was kind of like in, you know, uh, shroomy, shroomy land, I was like, yo, we got to get our picture taken. Oh, smart. Um, smart, smart, just smart. for proof that you were here, yeah. and then like took a video, being like, "Yo, Mick and Con, uh, where the yeah, fuck you that. at?" Yeah, that was like <laughs> you were on your own fucking planet as well, dude. It wasn't yeah. just uh, it wasn't just it was just you, but I, I, but I was, I was, I had, I was, I had a fucking great time, bro. I was my frequency was exactly yeah. where I wanted it to be. Um, my one failure, we did I will a two say, different parties. I will say, yeah, right. yeah, which is. That's the mark of a good party is when there's like A line, B line, but they're not like competing. No, not at all. It's like different story arcs, I, right? I don't know how often we even like saw each other. I mean, I know we took some pictures and I guess I poured some beer into your gullet, but uh, yeah, I feel like I maybe saw you twice, yeah. twice yeah. at most over the course of. Well, I was holding eight on. Hours. I was holding on the table area. I was my girlfriend and her crew, and we we're all having a great time. Yeah. Uh, they're all like these. They're all city kids, and they're fucking geeked that big body showed up. They're oh, like, sick, yeah. I, I feel like in their eyes, in my girlfriend's eyes, like I fucking my coolness factor. Um, instead of being like the old weird guy at the party, now I'm like the old weird guy at the party who's through a party that Big Body Best came no, to. No, for sure. That was sick. And shout out Tash um, and Show Me for making that happen. But I was like, Body, what do you need, bro? He's like, yo, I need Henny. <laughs> and I was like, I text Ash, yo, where the Henny at? Or I ask, and I asked Benny, where the Henny at? Benny, where the Henny? <laughs> and like, we don't have any. I'm like, oh. Fucking blew it, dude. Fuck. The one thing that Body needs. Yeah. It's like he's like a Ferrari, bro. Yeah, dude. He needed his gas. He needed the he fuel, fuel, dude. He needed that fucking he needs petrol, that, man. That premium. Yeah, uh, body. Uh, when I met him uh, out, to, met him inside. Thanked him for coming. Uh, and again, shout out Tash and Show Me for for making that making that fucking work because uh, I don't know if Body would have come otherwise. But outside oh. Body, he was like, because then it becomes then I was like in pitch mode because I'm fucked up and zooted, and he's like. And I was making fun of him about, like, maybe asking for some bread to come on the show, maybe asking for some fresh seafood, and basically being like, within reason, we want to make this happen for you, because you're the fucking, you would be uh, an all-timer episode, and, and obviously, Tash and Show Me had my back with that, but he was like, we'll talk about it later, you, my friend, are a fiend. <laughs> He's like, yeah, no, no, no. He called you a, t- a tweaking fiend. Yeah, a tweaking fiend, we gotta continue this conversation later, uh, which I, all I can, doth my cap to thee, good sir, he was absolutely correct. Yeah. Um, what a night! But another, our best another, party we ever threw. Let's just absolutely let's just best get party we ever there. threw. Uh, Chuck, I think if Chuck says oh that that was God, the, bro. Chuck, well, first of all, he was just having the, a blast. He was and handing also, out hugs like a fucking pro. Yeah, and it was also like, uh, damn, did I give him any mushrooms? That was my other regret. Is that I handed? I was too generous with the gummies. Oh, I gave them to some random damn, kid um, who's in the court, and he's like, "Yo, I drove up from Philly for this." I'm Sick. like, "Here you go, Tight. Sergio." Fucking flew in from L. A. Oh, for 24 right. hours. I, oh, damn, I, I saw. I got a flick with Sergio. Well, you got to flick with both of us. Yeah, but um, as he is wont to do. What was I gonna say? Oh, the other thing you missed besides my holla was Benny. Uh, was like, "Yo, you know, I always keep Ace of Spades on mm. on ice." Big regret like, for, and I was like. Where the fuck is it at? Let's get it. Get it suited, Benny. And dude. I'm not a bottle or table guy, although 
Oh yeah. Except when you are there was okay. There was like our. They're like this is your table. They're like here's a bunch of like Andas and a bottle of mezcal, and they're like it's not like boost off. It's not like separated from like yeah. the, it's just like a, a like a U of benches at jeans or like it's like a benches on both area, sides. But it's not like you know. But it's not like it's not like off. roped off or anything. Yeah, no. So there are people sitting there, and I was like, I was like, he comes up to me, and he's like, Yo, man, I'm a big fan. I'm like. Yeah, I'm. You know what? I'm not a fan of you sitting my fucking table. Oh no! And he's like, he's like I'm dude. so sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm like, no, no. I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you. <laughs> Jesus Christ! In that moment, that's got to be that man's worst fucking nightmare. Yeah, dude. exactly. He Jesus felt like the he felt like the the toilet at the Drake store. <laughs> Yo, for real. Did you Jimmy just, just shit it on me. Just shit down my fucking throat. Jimmy dude. just shit it in me, on me, and all around me. Dude, what a what a fucking time! I will say that. But Ace of Spades, bro, you missed it. Yeah, I'm. Well, I struggled to pop it. When, I'm not gonna lie. When uh, our boy Abe was like, "Yo, uh, do you see the chick from industry was here?" I'm like, "Wait, what?" He's like, "Yeah, I think she like went outside with Jimmy. She was bouncing. Jimmy went outside with her like five minutes ago. I like sprinted out faster than ever. And you guys were I don't even know where you were at that point, but that was I was like I fucking blew it. Yeah, because of course you got the flicky and I have nowhere to be seen. Yeah, that's what happens when you uh, no good deed." Goes unpunished. You were you were a ghost dog, bro. You were fucking. You were a you know. You're a <laughs> pigeons on the roof, dude. You're just a Ronin. Pigeons in the nose, like ghost dog. You're dude. just I a was, Bronin. I was. I was. Well, you're masterless. You're whatever a plot you had going on. My B plot is. Uh, no, you were a plot. Is uh, you were for the, sure. The a way plot. is uh, create uh, wreak havoc outside. Come yes. inside. Go to the bar. Chug a drink. Uh, take a flick with someone, have a conversation that, one, I'm not going to remember, two, most definitely was embarrassing, three, couldn't even hear it in the moment, and then start the start the, the loop yeah. all over again, and that's just, that's Larry's route, dude. Yeah. That's my F1 race it's all the, night. It's the triangle. Yeah, it's may, the, maybe hit the DJ booth for a little bit. It's the Larry's Triferg. Maybe just, fu- you know, uh, you know, if you see me walking around the party doing some moms at, mom at a wedding hands, you know, do some of that. No, you're doing, you're doing yeah, Jonah yeah, Hill at yeah, the wedding. Yeah, dude, yeah, exactly, just, and just repeat it all over again until uh, the club closes at four and i will say so i left at one what you you fucking shut it down i shut it fucking down uh at four in the morning there's maybe like 30 people still there um and we did an after is at paul's uh paul Cas- paul's casablanca which i'd never been to before and i small right uh very small and i'd heard that you know there's all the memes about the door guy uh fabrizio uh who absolutely 1000 percent lives up to his reputation of being a super rude and ridiculously dressed piece of fucking shit <laughs> shout out to the homies at rubies who like were able to finesse me and my crew some old friends some new friends into paul's to chill with delaney and uh giavos who had no issue getting in because i guess they're actually clouded that's the thing right i come from our party and i'm like i'm the man it's like no now you're not you immediately leave the the the, the sh- like you leave lafayette street you are not the man you are no yeah they call those uh what dreams what are they like uh yes i don't know some some type of bloke dreams some type of bloke dreams yeah yeah uh, but anyway uh i ended up that my and my night continued to go for a few more hours but the worst thing Cause, because was, just real quick so like the next morning it's up at eight i text the group chat with like me you delaney javos and ash i'm just like we did it boys at like 8 30 and people just start recounting like holy shit yeah. like oh my god that was amazing and I'm like, we're missing one voice. Where's Larry? Yeah. And then people are like, oh my god, the limo. And I'm like, limo, what the yeah. fuck? Yeah. And I know that I'm not going to get the unfiltered version like on no, text. No, no. Well, sure. But like, what or the? Now. F- well, you okay. got it earlier. <laughs> okay, but no, like- it's just we ended up <laughs> me, Delaney. Giavos, and then uh, the the fucking Rubies guys, a bunch of new friends we had made that night, and then apparently the touring basis for Tame Impala and his crew left. But Tame Impala's just one guy. Uh, well, I mean, this guy is part of the crew. Oh, okay. I guess his name is Cam, and he plays bass when they tour. I don't know. <laughs> Either way, uh, when we left Paul's Casablanca, whenever they fucking close, like 5, 30, 6 a.m., there's just like a bunch of, like, because of that crowd, basically a fucking money crowd, there's all these fucking car services outside. We decided it would be good it would be a good idea to pay for a stretch limo, which ended up being the most cursed, anxiety-inducing limo ride of my fucking life. It's like Taking that, uh, us uptown, downtown, back downtown, back uptown. I'm like, I just need to get out of this thing, and thank God, eventually, I was released. But that was the most... And at that point, too, I'm like, I regret everything. That What's ever the read. Robert Pattinson movie where he's, like, just trapped in Cosmopolis? a Cosmopolis? Yeah. Yeah, basically. That? No, but it, that was fucking sick, dude. His limo was fucking tricked out. This shit, the aux didn't work. There was fucking warm drinks. We had to stop and get our own fucking White Claws and Topo Chico hard seltzers. And it was just, like, another two hours extendo on the night where I'm like, I want to 
I want to jump out and get run over by this limo. Why don't you ask the limo to, this. to drive to bed and drop you off? Well, I don't I, We just got, we had no idea where we were going. Who, who, who was in charge? Dr- who was in charge of who's navigating the limo? Not like who's driving, but like who's telling them where to go? Completely. Were they just like, yo, drive around for Completely two hours? Completely unclear. I think that's what ultimately was the, the, game, the game plan. The plan that these people had was we're just going to ride funny. until the fucking wheels fall off. It's pretty funny. And thankfully, I got fucking dropped off back downtown, nearly where the fucking whole night started off, literally right by Ultra on, on fucking Spring Street. Oh my God. And then I was able. Able to uh, to finally make my way. Well, we had another stop, but then I made my way back home. So it was like uh, the skeletons. Shout on out the... Matt Woodruff and thank you for your hospitality. Love Jay Muser. We'll skeletons on the roller coaster. Oh my god, bro! That's how I felt on the train home. It was absolutely yeah. horrendous, bro. There anyway. were people going to work when you were. Yeah, like I said, home, Jenna right? was yeah. literally on her way to work out. She was an upstanding member of society. I was the dregs of society. It happens, bro. Um, but I'm good for like I'm good for a month. We could take. I'm gonna take it easy for like a month. It's like a workout girlfriend, 8 a.m. home, 8 a.m. coming home boyfriend. Party boy boyfriend. All right, should we run it back? How do you want to do this? Like, like I jeans. Like Ash was like, "Yo, this is like honestly, this was the most fun party uh, of the week." And he was doing, he did the J Crew thing. He did Prabal Garang. He did Midnight Studios, which yeah. is where Skepta and G Easy were at. Big smoke. Please. Um, he's like, we should do it monthly. And I'm like, no, <laughs> no. we shouldn't. No, we shouldn't. I because don't... that one night took. Four years off your life, probably. I you're mean, gonna you're gonna die now at fifty three. I don't want my destiny to be like the fucking washed up, over the hill, coked out party promoter. Um, but despite my best efforts, that might be all that's left for me. I can't have a real job. At what's this the point. What's the movie like? Uh, we, uh, Final Destination. <laughs> <You're> yeah, <just laughs> like that's... you just see yourself face down in the bathroom at Jean. You're like, oh fuck. Yeah, there this it is. this is this is how it all ends. Stop doing floor drugs, Larry. <laughs> Anyway, super fun time. Thank you so much to everyone coming out. The shit was a true movie. The best party yeah. we've ever thrown. It will not be the last, I promise you. No. Um, and Just uh, not for at least yeah. a month from now. Um, I really... But you know what this did? Speaking of the sponsors, like we have the people, like the, the good folks at Onda, we have a call with them because they're like, yes, let's keep this yeah, going. No, for sure. We have some things coming up. I 1,000% would love for it to be like uh, purely democratic in terms of like... I mean, the ultimate goal is a block party. Oh, you know, for sure. That's always the open best to move, all. For sure. You you can come and go as you please. Bingo. There's no sandbox style. There's no invitation or like list yeah. only situation. Um, Out here like GTA Six, dude. Just pull up, fucking do a drive by, do, do whatever the fuck yeah. you want. Punch and a leave cop, whatever you want. Punch a cop, <laughs> change the radio station, and drive off into yeah. the sunset. Kill a prostitute, whatever. Yeah, exactly. Sex worker. Um, <laughs> Excuse me. So that's that's you know, and we're getting there, right? But it's like if yeah. you're, if we're gonna throw a fashion party, like the, it, there has to be the the limitations around that. Not that like I'm not chastising ourselves for doing what we had to do. I hope it was anyone who sick. had to wait any amount of time ultimately was like it was worth it. I, I truly believe that in my heart of hearts, in my dying heart that is about to literally explode. Yeah. Uh, I would hope that no matter how long you did or didn't have to wait the final payoff was worth it because i really truly believe that was like the most fun party not just that we've ever thrown but i feel like of all of fashion week i'm gonna give ourselves that credit yeah we definitely grand closing it lived up it lived up to our lofty advertising and marketing which you were never in new york fashion week it was shut down down, trust me daddy uh chef or throw gang (laughs) this has been another episode of the only podcast that matters chef Take us out with some Cameron featuring Opera Steve.